Brought to you by wikivd.com Twiggy Ramirez Jordi Osborne White once known professionally as Twiggy Ramirez shortened to just Twiggy. Since returning to Marilyn Manson and sometimes referred to by his real name, is an American musician mostly known as the bassist and guitarist of the band Marilyn Manson. Previously he was the bassist for A Perfect Circle and a touring member of Nine Inch Nails, and is currently the vocalist for Goon Moon. He left Marilyn Manson in 2002, and later rejoined the band in 2008. He has been a principal songwriter for the band, and has also contributed to some of the Desert Sessions recordings. He also currently hosts the Hour of Goon podcast with fellow musician Fred Sablan on the Feral Audio Network. Early Life Although born in Pompton Lakes, New Jersey, he moved to Florida during his childhood. He has an older brother, James. He did not know his father for most of his life but united with him in 2008. Influenced by the likes of Motley Crue, Van Halen and Iron Maiden, he first picked up a guitar at age 13. Although a New Jersey native, he spent the better portion of his youth in the F.D. Lauderdale area, where he quickly embraced South Florida's growing music scene and by age 15, had joined his first band, The Ethiopians. Musical Career Early in his career, White was in a speed metal cover band called The Ethiopians covering songs such as Metallica's Trapped Under Ice. Between 1989 and 1993 White played rhythm guitar and provided backing vocals for Ambu Gallard. 1993-2002, Marilyn Manson White met Brian Warner on numerous occasions in the late 1980s. After an unexpected meeting at a used records store in the Coral Springs Mall where White was working, the two realized they had much in common but had yet to work on a musical endeavor. White actively attempted to join Manson's band while playing in another project. He became an honorary spooky kid and went by the groupie name Gordy White. In March 1993, White took part in Manson's side project Mrs. Scabtree and shared vocal duties. With then-girlfriend Jessica, Geordie did not join Marilyn Manson and the Spooky Kids until Gidget Gein was ejected from the band by the manager in December 1993. White was given the Manson band member named Twiggy Ramirez which was derived by taking the first name from English supermodel Twiggy and the surname from American serial killer Richard Ramirez. Much of Twiggy's early look, from the multicolored dreadlocks down to the dress style was taken directly from Jack Off Jill singer Jessica and Gidget Gein. White never played bass until Manson bought him his first instrument right after he joined Manson's Band. In 1998, White made a cameo in Monster Magnet's music video for Space Lord. In 2001, White appeared on an MTV Cribs episode, The Ozfest Edition. As a result of many lineup changes, Twiggy was largely responsible for most of the songwriting on the album's Antichrist Superstar. Mechanical Animals and Holy Wood in this last record shared credits with John Chapter 5, who composed more songs than Twiggy. In 2007, White claimed that he is proud of the work that he did in the band. 2003-2007 After Manson after departing the band he played two live shows, with California punk metal band Mondo Generator and auditioned for the role of second guitar in Queens of the Stone Age which he lost to Troy Van Laven of A Perfect Circle. He also auditioned for a spot as bass player in Metallica but lost out to former suicidal tendencies Ozzy Osbourne bassist Robert Trujillo which is documented briefly in their film Some Kind of Monster. Several months later, 
White replaced Paz Lenchenton in A Perfect Circle. The project of Tool frontman Maynard James Keenan and former Tool guitar tech Billy Hoverdell as a full member of the band on bass guitar. White later joined Queens of the Stone Age frontman Josh Homme on the 9th and 10th volumes of Homme's music project The Desert Sessions. He contributed to Melissa Alf Moore's solo debut. He assisted in the production of Nine Inch Nails' album, with Teeth and toured with them during 2005-06 to support the album and then again in 2007. For Year Zero, White has composed for a range of artists from fictional band Steel Dragon to Biff Naker to his namesake model Twiggy Lawson with whom he recorded and produced a duet of Dusty Springfield's I Only Want to Be With You for the soundtrack of the MTV film Dead Man on Campus. In 2005 White worked with Goon Moon and, with them released the EP I Got a Brand New Egg Lay-In Machine recorded at Rancho de la Luna Prescription and Regime Studios. The band released their first full-length album, Licker's Last Leg in May 2007. White appeared on the Uncle album or Stories playing bass and since on the track Burn My Shadow, 2008, Return to Manson. On January 9, 2008, Marilyn Manson posted a bulletin on MySpace confirming that Tim Scold was leaving Marilyn Manson and that Twiggy Ramirez had rejoined the band in his place. He toured with Manson as the band's new guitarist in support of their seventh studio album. However, Twiggy would stay with Goon Moon after the touring of The High End of Low is finished. Twiggy also mentioned in an interview that he would keep working with Manson for their next album, Born Villain which was released on May 1, 2012. Geordie White was invited to return to play with a perfect circle for their fall and winter 2010 tour in North America which sold out on all 14 dates scheduled and continued to play with them until at least 2011. He is currently co-producing and writing with the industrial band Black Lodge on their upcoming album The Diary of Tomahawk. While he didn't participate in the writing or recording of Marilyn Manson's 2015 album The Pale Emperor, he continues to tour with the band. Manson confirmed on Reddit that he intends on collaborating with Twiggy for the follow-up to The Pale Emperor. Despite this, the latest album Heaven Upside Down features no contributions from Twiggy performance or songwriting. Personal Life White cites Oasis The Who The Kinks and The Bee Gees as his influences and as his favorite bands. White has a Don't Believe The Truth tattoo as a tribute to Oasis on his left arm. Due to his friendship with Oasis producer Dave Sardi, White got to play bass on a new version of Oasis, Cast No Shadow that was submitted to the soundtrack for the 2005 movie Goal, and contributed remixes of I'm Out of Time and Falling Down that the band used as B-sides. It has been emphasized by White personally that if there was one single piece of information the public should know about him it would be that he smells like baby powder. On July 26, 2014 he married Lenny Chantal, a special effects makeup artist who was a contestant of season 5 of Face Off and current Suicide Girls model. Notably Ramirez dated Jessica of Jack Off Jill Riot GRRL band from South Florida. In October 2017 Jessica came forward with details alleging that their relationship was riddled with abusive behavior on the part of White culminating with White raping Jessica in the apartment they shared. White has not commented on these allegations. Jessica also spoke of other sexual assault allegations levied against White and that these other victims are part of her impetus to finally come forward, but feeling guilt and shame about now knowing I am not my rapist's only survivor has been an even worse Albert Tross.
to bear. Marilyn Manson, frontman of the eponymous band, released an official statement regarding the allegations, reading, I knew Jessica and Jordy had a romantic relationship many years ago and I considered and still consider Jessica to be a friend. I knew nothing about these allegations until very recently and am saddened by Jessica's obvious distress. Twiggy has not commented on the allegations. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?